Moin sind Jungs und Mädels, herzlich willkommen zurück zum Grundhaus Gaming und zu Deus Ex Mankind Divided. Äh, wir haben uns hier gerade mit Dobromila in Novakova getroffen ähm, und wir sollen ihren Mann zur Strecke bringen. Ähm, tut, 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 die Karte lesen. Ganz genau. Ähm, äh, die Bank, ne? da wollten wir sowieso noch mal hin irgendwie. Äh, aber erstmal wollten wir... Ähm, zu unserem Apartment gehen und hier so ein bisschen mit diesem äh, wunderbaren Händler reden. Da gehen wir einfach mal hin, würde ich sagen. Gehen wir hier an Vincent van Ork vorbei und äh, schauen mal. So, da können wir ruhig ein bisschen schneller laufen. Hi. Delara, the Diwali op Vince was digging into. I've got the address of a smuggling locker he was looking for. Ah, huh, maybe he's still looking. Or maybe he found it some other way. This information you came by it how exactly? The informant Vince was supposed to meet. She agreed to work with me instead. That doesn't surprise me. You're good at gaining people's trust, Adam. It's a rare skill. Point is, I got a lead. I'll let you know what I find. Okay. Good. Uh, what's this here? Nice and slow. Da hinten sollen wir hin. Also wir finden äh, uns jetzt bei dem weißen Punkt ne, und sollen da hinten zu dem roten Punkt gehen. Ist das jetzt eine Nebenmission geworden oder? Nee. Also wir befinden uns hier. Nee, kann ich hier ein bisschen weiter raus. Hier haben wir jetzt einen Point of Interest. Die Störung, ja genau, da, da hat es geblinkt gerade. Ähm, ja, eigentlich wollte ich hier in unser Apartment mal rein. Ja, okay. Interessant, also ähm, mega finster hier die Gassen. Hier hätte ich glaube ich auch schon auf den Innenhof gekonnt, ne? Did you see what they did to her? Why are we drawn to such things? What's wrong with us? It is not unhealthy to be curious about death. What is unhealthy is to do such things. Poor woman. Poor woman's family. They say she was an augmented journalist, one of the few mother voices left. Okay. Someone is targeting orgs. This one is not the first. Ooh, I checked the Ripper file. Sir, shouldn't we be arresting? You know who? By now? John is not going in. Sieht aus wie eine Mine eigentlich. I was given the same order as you were, sir. I know all about our orgs. Do me a favor, eh? At least pretend to look for evidence. You don't think he did it? I do think he did it, but I also think we should at least try to prove it, if that's okay with you. Anything you say, sir. We can't let them get away with this. Daria says something, but apparently she doesn't talk to cops. Daria, okay, uh, vielleicht muss mich jemand aufklären, was hier abgeht. If it wasn't for Johnny, then I might have begged you for this. Okay. Away from the crime scene, sir. Also, die wissen scheinbar, wer wir sind. We can't let them get away with this. tell us. Ach, das ist Daria. Ich dachte, Daria wird das noch machen. Excuse. I recognize you. We're neighbors. I've seen you in our building. You're very difficult to miss. By chance, did someone send you to investigate? No, no one sent me. What happened here? It's horrible. An augmented woman was killed, just outside of where we live. She looks like she was my age. Do you have any idea who she was? No. I've never seen her before. It's so sad that nothing would be done about this. 
Orc victims are not high on the list of police priorities. To them, it's like a dog lying in the street. You... you're not a cop, are you? Äh, nein, bin ich nicht, können wir sagen. Ich arbeite jetzt für jemand anders. Eine andere Behörde, oder wir können sagen, war ich mal. Äh, alte Gewohnheiten. Ähm. Tja, was sagen wir denn? Äh, ich weiß, kommt ja beides aufs selbe raus im Prinzip, ne? I work with someone else. Another agency. That's perfect. You outrank the police? Meistens. Depends who you ask. The detective here. He he's not willing. I got the feeling he doesn't care. What about you? What's your interest in all this? Morbid curiosity? God no. I want nothing more than to go home. Detective Montag, he's making me stay. He he thinks I saw something. Did you see something? Maybe. I think I would rather not say, to be honest. Because if I had seen something, and if I started talking about it, wouldn't that put me in danger? Naja, es bleibt ja unter uns, würde ich sagen, ne? Also, solange sie das nicht jedem auf der Straße erzählt, ist eigentlich alles cool. Ja, sie sind vielleicht schon in Gefahr. Der Mörder könnte sie jetzt Schwachstelle sehen. Haha, <lacht> oder beruhigen. Ja, sie mögen nicht viel von der Polizei halten. Mir geht es eigentlich anders, aber das heißt nicht, dass sie Informationen zurückhalten sollten. Oder wir zeigen Verständnis. Um, wir versuchen sie mal zu beruhigen. You may not think much of the police here. I may not think much of them either. But that doesn't mean you should hold back information. They don't have it in them to protect me. They have neither the will nor the courage. Be that as it may. It's still probably your best hope for helping to catch the killer. I know. It's just that I don't trust the police. I would feel safer with someone like you. You have more reason to be invested in this than they do. You're augmented, like the victim was. And you look like you could actually protect me. It's not my case. But maybe you could help. Please, neighbor. Talk to Detective Montag. At least see how it's going. Make sure he doesn't think he's on vacation just because the victim is an orc. Hmm. Ja klar, ich meine, was soll ich sagen? Wie gesagt, ist nicht mein Fall. Ich denke nicht. I'll talk to the officer in charge and see where he is with the investigation. If I can help him, I will. Thank you. Suppose I end up remembering something later. Is there a way for me to contact you? You planning to run off on me already? The first chance I get. There are times for standing in the cold, but this isn't one of them. I just want to go home, bolt the door, and never come out again. Of course, I will wait for Detective Montag to say it's okay first. And I'll still try to answer whatever questions you may have. I can give you access to my info link. You should feel free to use it if you have to. Thank you, neighbor. I'll talk to you about what happened. How come she talks to him and not to me? Ich weiß nicht. Ja, da steckt vielleicht ein bisschen mehr hinter. Äh, man hat ihr die Beine abgenommen, ne? Die versalberten. Und den äh, versalberten Arm, wie es aussieht. Schulter haben sie dran gelassen. Fuck walking this beat. They didn't think so. So Daria was actually talking to you, huh? I could barely get two words out of her. What did she say? Did she see anything? You mean your witness over there? She's she's not sure yet. <laughs> How can she not be sure? Either she saw something or she didn't. She's scared. She thinks she might be in danger. I told her she'll be fine and that whoever did this would be caught. I'd like to believe that's true. Sure, so would I. But as you can see, the victim was like you. Augmented. That makes things a little more complicated, eh? Being a cop in this city, it's not always about doing the right thing. Or about doing things the right way. Na <laughs> super. Na, der Typ sieht auch ein bisschen aus wie Hitler irgendwie. Keine Ahnung, Leute. Äh, als so auf ihn zugegangen bin, dachte ich mir, Alter, der sieht aus wie Hitler. <lacht> ähm, <lacht> sorry. Ähm, so, mal gucken. Herausforderung. Es gibt keinen Grund für Komplikationen. Jemand wird ermordet. Sie suchen den Mörder. Ob das Opfer ein Opti war oder nicht, spielt dabei keine Rolle. Sollte so sein. 
Oder wir können ihn verletzen und sagen, sie sind zu nachsichtig mit der Polizei. Aus meiner Sicht ging es hier nie darum, das Richtige zu tun. Oder wir können einen Zusammenhang herstellen. Aha, ja, ich war zwölf Jahre lang einer. Ich weiß alles über schlechte Befehle. Es gibt einen Unterschied zwischen dem, was dir einer sagt und dem, was du für richtig hältst. Ähm, Zusammenhang herstellen ist irgendwie auch nicht richtig übersetzt, ne? Na, wir nehmen das mal. I was a cop for 12 years. I know all about getting bad orders. The difference between what you're told to do and what you know is right. Tell me about it. So, how did you reconcile yourself with uh, those kinds of orders? Ignorieren. I quit. <laughs> I'm two months away from the beach. I'm not quitting. But I respect your idealism. It was a long time ago. I work for Interpol now. Interpol, huh? Listen, off the record, I've been told to forego any unnecessary investigation. I want you to know, it's not my idea of how things should be done. Who told you to forego the investigation? <sighs> Men who spend more time making policies than arrests. They want the victim's husband, Johnny Gunn, ex-PMC operative. Heavily augmented. All right. So if you're not comfortable with this, if you know things aren't being handled the way they should, why not do something about it? I thought I just did. Just because my hands are tied doesn't mean Interpol can't conduct a parallel investigation. Crime scene's right over there, and Johnny lives just a couple of blocks from here. I never said I was gonna work your case for you. Sure you did. Isn't that more or less the promise you made your little friend over there? She won't talk to a cop because she doesn't trust us. Smart girl. Look, my orders are to arrest the husband. You take a look around, get to Johnny before my guys do. Who knows? Maybe we'll actually learn something. I'll let you know what I find. Aha. Okay. Interpol. Who do they think they are? In Tatwasch untersuchen, dann schauen wir mal. Achso, wir können uns natürlich erstmal den Text hier angucken. Äh, von dieser wunderbaren Bearbeitung. Nee, ja, Bearbeitung. Na klar. Äh, was haben wir denn hier? Äh, der Harvester, okay. Auf der Straße liegt eine ermordete Frau, eine mögliche Zeugin. Daria fürchtet, etwas gesehen zu haben, äh, das nicht für ihre Augen bestimmt war. Das Opfer war augmentiert und laut Daria ist das für die Polizei Grund genug, um die Ermittlungen einzustellen. Ja, zu Recht mit Montag reden. Für den Tatort ist ein Polizist namens Montag verantwortlich. Daria bezweifelt, dass er in der Lage ist, den Mörder zu finden und für ihre Sicherheit zu sorgen. Ich habe ihr versprochen, der Sache nachzugehen. Und dann kommen wir hier wieder nach Daphne's Reisen. Johnny Gunn war mit dem Mordopfer Angela Gunn verheiratet. Für Montags vorgesetzt... Für Montags Vorgesetzte steht Johnny bereits als Mörder fest. Ich muss mit ihm reden, um mir selbst ein Bild zu machen. Laut Montag wohnt Johnny in einem Apartment nicht weit von hier. Tatort untersuchen. Ich habe angeboten, bei der Untersuchung des Mordes an Angela Gunn zu helfen. Äh, zumal ich den Eindruck habe, Detective Karl Montag braucht hier die Hilfe, die er kriegen kann. Und Johnny Gunn, ey, das hört sich auch an wie irgendein Porno-Darsteller. <lacht> so, äh, also heute der lustige Assoziation hier Hitler und Porno-Darsteller. Schauen wir mal. Wunden über Angela ganz linken Arm sind Schnittwunden. Offenbar wurde ihre Augmentierung gewaltsam entfernt. Ja, das hätte ich euch jetzt auch sagen können. I'm continuing this conversation is over a beer. Okay, was ist eine Option? Ja, alle Beweise easy. sichern. Dann schauen wir mal. Quetschungen. Ja, die Quetschungen an Angela ganz Hals sind frisch. Offenbar hat sie der Mörder erwirkt und dabei einen teilweise einen Fingerabdruck hinterlassen. Ah, ein Fingerabdruck, sehr schön. Ähm, eine Nadel haben wir hier. In Angela ganz rechter Schulter steckt eine abgebrochene Nadel. Ähm, ein Betäubungsmittel, ein Gift? Ich weiß es nicht. Just because Montag trusts him, doesn't mean I do. Haben wir sonst noch was an ihr? Can't believe we got stuck down here. Yeah, thought as much. Was können wir denn hier noch untersuchen, ob sie... Hm. 
jetzt die Nadel in ihrer nicht augmentierten Schulter. Okay. Ja, von vorne reingerammt. Auch noch. Ich schon mal am Hals. Sie hatten äh, Presse. Ausweis dabei kann es sein. Ähm, würde ich mir gerne mal ähm, einziehen. Mich aber nicht. Mal sehen, was gibt es denn hier noch? Ich rede noch mal kurz mit Daria. I have some questions for you. I will cooperate. You have promised to help, and so I will try to help as well. Gut, gut. Also schauen wir mal. How did the attack happen? What was the killer doing? He was on top of her, cutting the evil out. That's what he called it. I, I mean, I think. So you heard his voice? Very clearly, yes. He sounded confident, authoritarian, like a general commanding troops. What did he say exactly? It is time to make you whole again. Oha. Um, na, zur uh, Kirche des uh, Maschinengottes haben wir sowieso uh, irgendwie so ein bisschen uh, Verbindung und das hier scheint mir auch irgendein äh, Typ zu sein, der aus Überzeugung handelt, sage ich mal. Can you remember anything about what the killer looks like? To be honest, I saw more of the shadow than the man. I remember he was very big. The shadow it covered everything. So you can't describe him. Not the face, no. His clothes, he was wearing something very dark, black, maybe blue. Was he augmented? He moved like an augmented man, but I can't say for sure. Okay. Why is it you don't trust the police to take care of this case? I have bad memories of the police. What kind of memories? Get calls I didn't want, tickets I didn't deserve. The policemen here are, are worse than children. Former captains of high school sports teams will never recapture their years of glory. I was captain of the debate team in high school. Yes, well, debate is different. Äh, ja, Übersetzung hier wieder schlecht an der Stelle einfach. Mm. What's your take on Montag? You ever meet him before tonight? I went to the station once, years ago, to complain about the ticket. Detective Montag is the one they send you to handle the paperwork. How'd he do? He did fine. The point is, he's a desk jockey. Look at him, he's lost out here. The cops who know how to catch killers, they're not the ones sent to investigate murdered ox. Okay, interessant. What were you doing here? I was looking for Starlight, my cat. There was lightning and suddenly this flash of certainty. That's when I knew something awful was happening. Where were you exactly? In the shadows. My head was down. I couldn't move. God, stupid Daria. I shouldn't have gone out today. The energies were all wrong. Okay, good. Is there anything else I should know about you? You want to know about Daria? What is there to tell? Small town girl came to the big city to escape her problems. To try and become someone else. Did it work? Not really. You can't escape yourself. You can't just come to a big city and expect all your problems to seem smaller. It doesn't work that way. Ah, oh, schade. No, I'm gonna do what I can to help the investigation. Good luck. So, also, irgendwie, ähm, hier haben wir noch eine Dokumentierung. They love to tear us apart. Didn't think so. Ah, okay. Ja, eine herausgerissene Augmentierung, wer immer das getan hat, wollte sie wohl nicht für sich, er wollte sie nur aus dem Körper entfernen. Sag ich ja, Überzeugungstäter. Hm. I think he found something. Ja, trotzdem fehlen irgendwie noch drei Dinge.
Graffitis helfen uns auch nicht weiter. Away from the crime scene, sir. Something is going to push them to attacking us. Hmm. Das ist ein bisschen kompliziert gerade. If it wasn't for Johnny, then I might have paid you for this. Na ja, klar. Aha, ein Ausweis. Ihr Presseausweis, sage ich doch, ne? Die Schlinge hing noch in ihren Hals. Ähm. Schauen wir mal. Der Presseausweis des Mordopfers. Angela Ganva, Reporterin. Da haben wir eine zerbrochene Brille. Hm, wo ist das andere Teil? Are you a journalist? No, but she was. And she had enemies. I hear there's been a series of these. Tabloids write that shit to sell copies. No, this was political. It's always political. Da hinten haben die noch irgendwas. Gruesome, isn't it? Ja, abgesperrt. It was just a matter of time before they got her. Before who got her? She's that journalist. The one writing all those things about... You know who. You'll have to film me in. Radko Maximilian Perry? The local anti-Alg politician? That's Angela Gunn lying there. She's the one that's been writing about him. There was a threat of a scandal and everything. Coincidence? Hm, wer weiß, äh, abschwächen. Äh, bei so einem Verbrechen ist es wichtig, Beweise zu finden. Sie können nicht einfach so Leute entschuldigen. Hm, wir gucken mal, ob er noch mehr weiß. Sounds like someone should go after this guy, ask him some questions. That's exactly what I'm saying. Just, if you do that, please don't mention me. I don't want to end up like her. What else can you tell me about Radko? The guy's a sleazy piece of shit. That's all there is to it. And you think he's capable of murder? Absolutely. Did you actually see anything? I just got here. So I see what you see. A dead, augmented journalist. Thanks. Okay. That's why I'm not so wirklich erhellend. Guck mal, hier hinten ist auch abgesperrt. Vielleicht finden wir da noch was. Wow, ah, ah. Au! Scheiße. <lacht> oh nein, oh, da war das unnötig. Ich weiß gar nicht, wo hier ein Autospeicherstand war oder was. Ähm. Ja, wer hat denn da diesen Gullideckel offen gelassen? Das ist ja unglaublich. Mann, Mann, Mann. Nein, müssen wir jetzt noch mal komplett mit ihr reden. Warte, wir wollen Schauen wir gerade. I have some questions for. Okay, alles cool. I'm gonna do it. Good luck. Da gab es also einen Autospeicherstand immerhin. Ich weiß nicht, mal speichern. So, und dann die Augmentierung müssen wir uns noch angucken, auf jeden Fall. Okay, cool. Augmentierung fertig. So, da haben wir hier den Ausweis. Ja, wir haben die Brille. Okay. Wir haben hier Zubehörteile. So gut habe ich mich umgesehen. Wir waren letztes Mal. So, wir reden mal noch mal mit dem Platzschrauber kurz. Hi. Was just a matter of time. Ja, ja, schon klar. She's that. You'll have to film it. Right. That's exact. What else can you? The guys are. And you think he's? Did you actually? I just got. So, okay. Yes. Thanks. So, sollte es gewesen sein. So, und jetzt können wir uns hier hinten umgucken. Vielleicht Tonne. Ist da was hinter? Einmal. Nein. Also, ich vermute, in der Mülltonne werden wir irgendwas finden. 
Oder hinter der Mülltonne oder so. Vielleicht hat er irgendwas daneben gelaufen. Achso, das ist die Leiter. Wir werden ja hier nicht umsonst abgesperrt haben, oder? Denke ich. Ich weiß es nicht. Vielleicht doch. Ja, auf jeden Fall darunter zu fallen, äh, ganz schön dämlich. In den Tod gestürzt. So, dann steigen wir wieder hin. Irgendwo muss es doch hier noch was geben. Die, die haben doch hinten nicht äh, aus Spaß abgesperrt, oder? Ich meine, vielleicht doch, aber das wäre schon merkwürdig. Ich würde die Tonne auch super gerne öffnen, irgendwie. Ich kann jetzt drehen und so, aber... Hm. Vielleicht eine Schwäche. Aha. Okay. Ich hau das mal kurz an. Auch wenn es jetzt nichts mit unserem Fall zu tun hat. Was? Wer sieht mich da und warum? Nein, ich wollte da auch hochspringen eigentlich. Na gut. Wir uns eben erst hier um. Uh! Nett. Also hier waren wir auf jeden Fall noch nicht. Hier sind wir überhalb des Tatortes dann tatsächlich. Okay. Oh, was war das? Zubehörteile. Aha. Ist hier auch was? Nee. Okay. So, einmal kurz speichern, nicht dass ich hier gleich wieder runterklatsche. nicht hoch. Okay. Auf die Tonne, runter. Und ja, irgendwie ein Teil fehlt uns noch, ne? Ich hätte gedacht, das würde es hier drüben geben. Okay, aber es scheint hier schon in diesem Bereich zu sein. Hm. Äh, da hinten ist es nicht aufgeploppt, sondern das ist erst hier wieder aufgeploppt. Ausweis, Brille, die, die, die Blutspur, irgendwas, irgendwie. Hm. Leute. Ich glaube, ich könnte hier Hilfe gebrauchen. Enjoying yourself, Detective. Ja, klar. I have some questions about the murder. Before we go any further with this, I need you to know something about Johnny Gunn. He's... He's not a good man. I may not like how my bosses are targeting him, but that doesn't mean he's innocent. So, you know, just make sure you're here for the right reasons. Why else would I be here? I don't want this to turn into some kind of crusade. Bad men do bad things. In a perfect world, we arrest them for the right reasons, but, well, the world's not always perfect. Na, okay, cool, um, schauen wir mal. You'll only arrest the victim's husband if the evidence tells you to, right? It's not enough that he's an AUG, and that your bosses want him to go down. I'll hold my guys off for as long as I can, but unless you can prove someone else killed Angela, 
or at the very least that Johnny didn't, I don't have much choice. That's why I'm trusting you to talk to him. Give me your honest opinion on what happened here. Yeah. Why are you trusting me exactly? Because you gave me the impression of being qualified. Because I'm big enough to admit that maybe I can use the help and... Between you and me... Because the thought of confronting a man like Johnny Gunn scares the shit out of me. No. Hey. How long have you been a cop? <sighs> Too long. And of all the ways to go out, eh? What do you mean? I mean being assigned a case like this. It's HQ's little joke before sending me off to retirement. Oh, but don't worry about me, eh? I'm a survivor. I can make it through this. This case What's is a joke to you? I didn't say that. I said it's a joke to HQ. They know I haven't left my desk in years. But that doesn't mean I'm not qualified. Just... Just a little rusty. People hold a hell of a grudge against Hogs, ever since the incident. Yes, and? Well... Good thing the cops here are such professionals. Part of being a police officer is treating everyone the same, right? Og or no Og. It's not that simple and you know it. A police force isn't some abstract ideal of what justice and law should be. It's an instrument of those in power. A reflection of the society it protects. I haven't been seeing a whole lot of protection out there. Well, that depends who you ask. Ja, wahrscheinlich. Ähm, ja, aber hat er recht, ne? Also eigentlich sollte die Polizei jeden gleich behandeln, aber auch nur Menschen. I'm here because I don't like the idea of someone killing people right outside my window. Maybe he's out there right now, targeting that poor witness. Or maybe he's just looking for any chance to do it again. Fair enough, Mr. Interpol. Do you know if the victim had any enemies? I know she and Johnny didn't get along. Other than that, I really couldn't tell you. Okay. Tell me about the victim's husband, Johnny. He used to work for a private military company, Bell Tower. He's been arrested for all sorts of things in the past. Now don't get me wrong, I believe in evidence. But I also believe in playing the odds. Nine times out of ten, the husband did it. Why are your superiors so eager to pin Johnny for murder? It's gotta be more than just not liking the guy. Standard policy for guys like Johnny. The way they see it, you send a man like him into Golem City and he's liable to go off the grid, end up with Ark or God knows who. He becomes ten times more trouble than he's worth. But if they can charge him with something big, something like murder, well... Suddenly, he's no trouble at all. Uh, uh, super. Schauen wir mal. Apparently, the victim was mixed up in some kind of political scandal with a man named Radko Perry. Hey, not the first time a politician and a journalist didn't get along. So you don't think he's worth talking to? Radko Perry? A murderer? Uh, I don't think so. Worst he can do to someone is get their car towed. Good thing I don't have a car. Where can I find this guy? Ah, Radko runs his campaign out of an old print shop not far from here. You want to brighten up his day? Be my guest. But that's all you'll be doing by telling him his rival is dead. Okay, good. I spoke to Daria. She's able to confirm that the suspect is male. Other than that, she's all over the place. I think she's pretty shaken up. Yeah, well, can't blame her. I would be too. You seem to have made a good impression, though. Ever since you got here, she seems... different. Calmer. <laughs> you know, I met my first wife over a crime scene. Let me give you a very important piece of advice, eh? Never marry the ones you save. No. Okay. Äh, auch ein interessanter ähm, Hinweis, Ratschlag. 
Ähm, hm. Okay, also wir wissen, der Täter war ziemlich groß, ne? das würde also auf den Ehemann tatsächlich äh, zutreffen. Äh, von dem müssen wir uns einfach ein Bild machen. Did the killer leave anything behind? Does anything strike you as odd? I don't know. It's a murder, you know? Doesn't matter if you look at it sideways or upside down. It's never going to look normal. Okay. I found a broken needle stuck in the victim's shoulder. The killer might have drugged Angela before killing her. Maybe. But keep in mind, she was an AUG. Don't you all have to shoot up that new pulse shit? Let's go for the obvious before jumping to any wild conclusions. Nee, so funktioniert Neuroprozin nicht. I'm assuming you know her augments were harvested. The marks on her body make it seem like the killer knew exactly what he was doing, knew exactly what he wanted. Huh. The way you said that just now. What about it? The way you described the aug removal. And before, you mentioned a broken needle in the right shoulder? That's right. It reminds me, you know. There was this cop, Smolinski. He used to work in this neighborhood. He had this theory about a copycat. Someone acting just like a dead killer named, um... Zvobotka. You think there's a connection to another case? I don't know yet. But I remember him mentioning something about needles and aug removal. Smolinski died in the police station bombing. Whatever files he had would have been moved into temp storage across the street from the bombed out station. Who knows? Maybe it's nothing. Okay, interessant. Ja, mir fällt gerade auf, ne, wenn die ähm, Nadel in der äh, in ihrer rechten Schulter gesteckt hat, dann muss der Typ ja, wenn er sie von vorne angegriffen hat, entweder ein Linkshänder gewesen sein äh, oder äh, er hat sie von hinten angegriffen. Wer weiß. I found a print on Angela's neck, next to the contusion marks. It's a partial, so I don't think we can match it to anything. But at least we know the killer left something, and that she was strangled. Huh, a fingerprint. I must have missed that one. This is exactly the kind of evidence I'm talking about. No way Johnny could squirm his way out of something like that. If only we could link it to him. No. Okay. Ähm, fragen wir ihn mal noch nach dem Tatort. Einen Beweis haben wir ja noch übersehen irgendwie, ne? den müssen wir in der, in der nächsten Folge finden. Wir sind heute schon ein bisschen drüber, aber ich will das Gespräch noch zu Ende machen, auf jeden Fall. Anything I should know about the scene? Anything jump out at you? The dismembered body jumps out at me. Keep in mind, I've been behind a desk for the last 12 years. It all jumps out at me. Have there been a lot of murders in this area? More than the average. I know I wouldn't live here. Not even if they paid me. I found this piece of glass near the body. A pair of broken glasses, maybe? I don't know what to tell you. We're in the back alley of a major city. There's bound to be broken glass. No. Okay, wir haben ja auch einen Teil des Rahmens gefunden, ne? Also, eigentlich. I found this press ID on the victim. Right, she was a journalist. Hence the scandal with Radko Perry. I still don't consider that proof of anything. No, okay. I want to help you with this case. To do that, I need a rundown of what you know already. Help me, huh? You mean, like being my subordinate? I mean like making sure we catch whoever's responsible. Right. Well, I have a dead body, Angela Gunn. I have bureaucratic pressure to arrest the augmented husband, Johnny Gunn. I have a crime scene, and I have you. Okay. I have what I need for now. I should go. You do whatever you have to. Ja, also ein Stück Beweis müssen wir irgendwie noch finden, scheinbar. Ähm. Nee, wo haben wir es denn? Der Harvester. 
den Tatort untersuchen. Ah, hier. Die Beweise sichern. Ah, das lese ich beim nächsten Mal nochmal vor, hier irgendwie, worum es in der Quest geht. Äh, für heute soll es das gewesen sein, Jungs und Mädels. Ich bedanke mich bei euch fürs Zuschauen. Wünsche euch noch einen wunderschönen Tag und hoffe, dass ihr beim nächsten Mal auch wieder mit dabei seid. Macht's gut und bis dann. Ciao.